100 episodes of the True Story podcast. I, I can't believe it. Wow, we made it. Can you believe it? 100 episodes. Uh, when I started this journey of the podcast, it was really just um, something to help me. You know, I was incredibly depressed. I had broken my neck recently. I wasn't able to train and we were in the middle of a pandemic lockdowns. So I didn't know what to do with my time. And you can only work out two, three times a day and twiddle your thumbs. So, you know, this was something that I always wanted to do. I told myself, or I thought I wasn't capable. And the truth is, if we reflect now on the very first episode to the 100th episode, this thing evolved and it evolved slowly. But man, I'm so blessed. I'm so very blessed that I had just amazing guests. Um, the universe taught me that it, you sometimes have not because you ask not. And almost a hundred times, no, literally a hundred times I messaged somebody, I asked them and they said yes. And very rarely was I ever turned down. And I reached out to every single one of my heroes. Literally, if you've ever inspired me, chances are you were on the show. Um, and strangers, uh, you know, 90 of these folks, maybe let's say 80, were complete strangers to me. Um, so I'm so overly blessed. And I learned so much. I learned so much about myself. Over the span of 100 episodes, I got sober from pain pills. Thank you, Chris Lieben. I forgave myself for a lot of the things I did. Thank you, Mark Kerr. I learned that I should forgive my father. Thank you, Seth Daniels. I believed that people were limited in their capacity of love and giving, and I was proven wrong by Tabitha Goldsmith. So many things, so many people, so many cool stories. Again, my heroes, somebody like Mark Coleman took their time to encourage me. Somebody, a total intellect like Robert Black, a genius in my opinion, told me I was smart. Just amazing, you know? And 100 episodes later, I feel like not only have I achieved everything, far, far exceeded what I had set out to do in my wildest dreams, but I feel like we left 100 episodes that I'm so proud of that I hope my daughter or my son check out one day. It's out there and they're out there hopefully forever. And I'm I'm curious to see if they're interested in getting knowing their daddy a little better. Or to learn more about what made me tick or the books I read or the people that inspired me. Not that it's about me. I don't want to sound like a narcissist. It's about every one of these guests. But every one of them changed my life. And more than just the hour or two it took to produce the episode or five or ten hours or whatever it may have been. They took the time and they know me now to say yes, and, and I got to hopefully help them feel like the people I believe they are, good people, inspiring people, and I was able to build them because really that's what they've done for me for years. Again, people like Frank Shamrock, you know, Mark Merrow, I could go on and on. Don't make me start on Monica Brandt, you know? <laughs> but it was amazing, and I'm so glad of, every, I'm proud of every episode, I'm proud of every single episode, even the goofy times that I stumbled over my words or said, Absolutely my pleasure, um, because evidently I do that after a hundred times I've learned. I tend to say the same things over and over. Um, thank you. Thank you to the sponsors. Thank you to Rain. Thank you to ISSA. You were both pivotal in your support and helping me also find guests. Bellator MMA, thank you so much. UFC, thank you so much. Um, and again, every guest... You're all so incredibly special to me. Um, thank you. Thank you for sharing your knowledge, your life experiences, your story, your work, your podcast, your books. So many amazing people. Artists, so many amazing people. I'm so proud of it. Thank you so much. There's one more thing left to discuss, though. There's somebody who's also been a guest of the show, Taylor Biaggi, black belt here in Chicago, owner of Biaggi BJJ. She's going to be starting a new YouTube channel. So we're breaking this down and I'm donating all of my equipment to her and to her academy and everything she's doing with these students. 
not only is she an amazing instructor and a total unicorn for being a female black belt, right? Um, but she's one of my favorite instructors. I literally, she could do whatever she wants with me. I don't stand a chance. She can wrap me up like a towel at her leisure, but she's kind and polite and she has a legitimate gift with children. Le a gift. I mean, with all people, but there's magic going on there. So I very much want to encourage her and what she is doing. And I hope every one of you stop what you're doing to go and check that out because there's some magic. And if you support me, I think you're going to support her. So with that, all the thank yous, 100 times over to every guest. I'll never be able to thank you enough. You are all in my life forever until you don't want me to be around anymore. Um, so very appreciative. I can't believe we've come this far. I'm not even sad about moving on. I, I really feel like I achieved everything I ever set out to do and more. So thank you. Thank you to all the viewers. Um, thank you for all the comments that helped the algorithm, the likes. You guys, those things made a huge difference. And and I'd be silly to say that, you know, the popularity of the series or the podcast definitely helped me get other guests. So that's all you. You know, that's all you. You picked me. You tuned in. You watched. And I never forgot that. You know, every episode, I definitely wanted to bring you captivating people, inspiring people. But I kept two things in mind, like for my compass. One I wanted to produce something I could show my kids. So I wanted to keep it respectable, kind, and honor people, honor their story. And even if I didn't understand or I had more to learn, I wanted it to be a safe place for that to, to unfold and to happen and to really cultivate that kind of culture. Second to that, you know, leaving a legacy, something I can show my kids and everyone too, I wanted every guest to feel better. I wanted them to get off the show and feel like, man, this guy like, took his time, he researched, or he is so passionate about what I've done or achieved because I am and I was. So I hope they all they all have that feeling. You know, I, that would make me feel good. That's the only feedback I really would want. Um, but anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been amazing. Check out everything Taylor's going to be doing, Taylor Biaggi, BJJ, and just thank you.